It came in over a thousand yards, a hundred catches. You guys, you and Josh Evans are too. I guess what do you think that kind of says about you and him just the secondary in general? Oh man, we have some true lockdown DBs, uh, as you you know seen over the past games, and you know coming into the game, we knew what you know how good a receiver he was, and you know we just wanted to come out and showcase how great of DBs that we have. So you know I feel like we had success today within within that, and you know we just want to continue to move forward. Do you feel like this was the most complete game you guys have played this season? Uh. uh as one, you could say, yeah, but, you know, it's been games that we've also, you know, played a, a great games, you know, though, you know, the score may have been otherwise. But, you know, yeah, today, all as one, I feel like, you know, everyone did their job and it was a good game for us. Trey, obviously you guys had the Big 12 championship game ahead of you, but how important was it to have a statement victory like this for the, the playoff selection committee to think about? Uh, man, it's just, you know, coming into every game, you know, we have a lot of doubters, you know, and, you know, we know what type of team we have, you know, we've showcased it constantly and we, we're an undefeated team, you know, and and we're constantly showing it every Saturday, you know, no matter how, you know, it starts off, but we are always going to finish on top. And uh, I feel like we showed, you know, today we showed the true team that we really have and I'm thankful that we performed the way we did. Coach said one of the things you guys have done for a few weeks during the Big 12 championship game, but it's not something you guys have talked about. Talk about being able to kind of talk about it and focus on it now. Uh, man, you know, we just like to take every game, you know, one step at a time. And now we're on to the Big 12 championship and we're going to approach, you know, this this coming week as such. So, you know, uh, this weekend, this coming weekend, you know, we're ready for it. We're preparing for it starting tomorrow. You obviously probably followed TCU for a long time and then to be part of this class that sort of like restored, restored them where they've been. What does that mean to me to you? Uh, that's always been the goal uh, when I came to TCU, and especially you know seeing the recruiting, um, the recruiting class that I came in with. Uh, I've always known that we would have a great team. You know, it's just a matter of time for us to you know separate ourselves, and I'm just very thankful that it's going the way it is because my you know my goals and dreams are finally coming to what I've always thought it would be. When did you know this year that it was going to be different? But I think we're going to continue on. Starting from the you know, the um, spring workouts and then going into the summer and then realizing how close of a team that we have become. And then uh, also underst and understanding that, you know, this coaching staff is really, you know, it has bought in and, you know, done the little small things to help us become better athletes and uh, also become better men. So everything in, as a whole has been, you know, great for us. So once I seen that, I knew that it would be a great season. Now, you've been in this program for a while, but there were a lot of guys that transferred in this year that play in the secondary with you. What have you learned from from those guys about their, maybe their perspective on, on TCU this year? What did you, you say? What you mean by this? You got a lot of new guys that's their first year of the program. Did they bring a new perspective on TCU and this football team? Uh, I mean, everyone, the guys that came in, you know, they have the, the abilities that they're great at and have been good at. And... You know, uh, every athlete is different, you know, especially coming from a, a different system and stuff like that. And I feel like those guys have, you know, done a great job, you know, uh, you know, adapting to the new defense, the new offense, and then coming in and putting their abilities into this defense and offense. And, and they took a great approach about it. And, you know, they have helped us out, you know, and we can't thank them enough. Now that he's in the room, say something nice about this guy. <laughs> My boy Josh, man. Uh, just going into every game, man, we, we talk about it every day. You know, it's lock boys for life, man. And, uh, you know, he came in, and I told him, man, it's all on you, you know, and it's about how you approach every game, every practice, bro. Like, it don't matter, you know, the competition or whatever it is, man. As a man, you should love competition. And from what I've seen from Josh, man, he's all about it. So, man, it's just, it's just good to have a brother in the room that, you know, has similar, you know, mentality and, uh, you know, he really cares about the team and, you know, he has had success in, in these games. So, man, I'm just very thankful for him and, you know, I'm continuously applauding him. <laughs> Anything else for Trey? Um, it was senior day. How important were the seniors to you throughout this season and their experience here? Uh, man, I'm a senior too. <laughs> but, uh, man, man, it's uh, coming in, you know, 
you know, uh, the senior class, as far as, you know, being with them throughout the, you know, the bad times and the losses and things like that, I feel like it brought us closer, you know, and and you could just, I could just feel it, you know, this this game, man, I feel like, you know, we have a chance to take it to another level, especially seeing from, you know, it being the last game in the quarter, you know, uh, last game, you know, you know, period, you know, for them, as far as being in the quarter, man, and and I'm just ready to see how it conti continues over into the next game, man. But, yeah, man, uh, the senior class, you know, they have been nothing but great. You know, we have a lot of guys that's that's in that class that have done some great things this season. And, man, like I said before, man, I just – I can't thank this team enough. You have a decision to come back and to see what they've done, your thoughts, but also if they've done this and you weren't around, how would that have been? <laughs> I would, man, I would, I'm a very uh, genuine person as far as when it comes to, you know, I like to see people have success, man, I'm not ever the jealous type, I'm not ever the, you know, what it could have been, what it should have been, or whatever it is, man, it's just, even if I wasn't here, man, I would be all for it, you know, I'm, I'm loving, I love to see people win, man, and that's just from the bottom of my heart. And so even if I wasn't here and they were having success, like I know that they'll do in the next coming years, man, and I'm all for it, man. I'm a, I'm a horn frog. Thanks, Trey. Appreciate yes, it. Yes, sir.